Okay, everybody, so I just got home from work. I'm headed outside for a garden tour. All right, so I wasn't gonna do this today, but then I thought, well, I better because we're about to go out of town for today's Tuesday evening. It's the 18th of July, and I'm about to leave town for, oh, be gone. We're gonna leave right after I come back from work tomorrow, Wednesday. So Wednesday, I won't be in the garden, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and we'll come back Sunday, but really, really late. So I won't get to see the garden on Sunday either. And then I have to go to work on Monday. So it'll be six days, really. And I won't get to see the garden until I get home from work on Monday. So I thought, I better do this because I might come back, oh yeah, to uh, some pathetic looking plants. But first I'm going to water my green stalks here and then I'll show you what they look like. So I need to go and water my greenhouse really well. Um, so we are having someone stay at the house, but I don't like to ask someone to, you know, have to do all the work that I do. Uh, so I'll just do the best I can and I hope that's enough. The water in the hose is probably oops, boiling, so I'm let it drain out a little bit. It's hot. So I've got some hanging plants that are hanging on. I had a few of the micros down at the bottom here, didn't make it. My banana nesna wire is doing good. Got a spoon back here. Looks a little bit diseased. More micros. Um, some of these are dwarfs. Soul Patch is a dwarf. I'm gonna give everything a good watering. See, there's some of the dwarfs that just didn't make it, or micros, I mean. That's okay, I have plenty more. Okay, so let's get started with the tour. So, first I'm going to show you my new green stock with micro dwarfs. They're all doing really, really well. They're all really, really healthy. I don't see any aphids, which is what kind of took these ones out a bit. They've been in here for a while. And some of them desperately needed water, obviously, but look, they've started to produce, so we're getting some tomatoes. I'm hungry, so. Oh. That one's pretty good. That one's Christmas tree. And as you can see, this thing is just loaded. Loaded with tomatoes. There's some that just didn't do as great. But and this one over here is filled with strawberry plants that I just put in here so they're kind of like not looking so hot but I did two to um, a pot and this is the seven tier and this is the five tier and I just wanted to show you this this is groovy tunes and this is a micro dwarf but look at the tomatoes the tomatoes are a decent looking size and they're supposed to be really really pretty too I haven't got any ripe ones yet but um, there's a lot that have gotten ripe, and I've saved seeds from some of them for trading, but yeah, see, look, look, here's another groovy tunes. Isn't that cool looking? But, so, I'm really loving these planters. I think these planters are awesome so far. I'm excited, getting lots of little tomatoes. Oh, this is another really pretty one. This one's called Ink Spot. Look at that. We're gonna harvest those. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. And this one's pretty ripe too, so. I'm gonna harvest as much as I can today. But let's head into the actual garden back here. Oh, I do have a tomato that I need to harvest from the greenhouse. The newly planted tomatoes are all doing lovely. Uh, cucumber, oh my gosh, do I have a cucumber? 
Oh my gosh. Oh, I did it. I have silver slicers, guys. No way. No way. Look at that. I've got two. Oh, no, I've got three. Oh, I'm so pumped. Here's another one. Oh, nice. This is a big boy. I wish these plants would do a little better, but at least they're taking off. Wow. I'd say, whoa. Once they get going, they get going. My goodness. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh, sweet. Okay. I can grow cucumbers, guys. Don't worry. Right, let's see what's over here. We got some flowers that I planted here. I don't remember what, but they're doing pretty good. Some squash, some sunflowers that are about to open up. Oh, can't wait to see which ones those are. Oh, dear Lord. Oh my gosh, how did I miss these? I was just out here yesterday. Gee, many Christmas. This is like a... <sighs> That's ridiculous. This one's not as ridiculous, but still somewhat ridiculous. Come on now. Well, my basket's already heavy. All right, what else is in here? Anything? No, okay. Goodness gracious. All right. My uh, watermelon plant over yonder is not looking so hot. This one's still giving it its best shot, but. I do have, oh, here's a, what is this? I'm not sure what this is, but I planted some of them and they're trying to pop up this tomato plants going bonkers. What do we got here? Oh, oh, knocking cherry tomatoes off right and left. I have a watermelon. I wonder if it's ready yet. No, I mean, it feels heavy, but there's no like mark where it's sitting really. The little tendril thing isn't dried up yet, so I will wait. Yeah, there's the, the little tendril and it's still, it's still green, the little tendril. So I'm gonna keep waiting. Oh, lots of tomatoes on the verge of being ripe. Look at that one. So many. Oh, this one looks like it's just ugly as all get out. What is happening? Oh, gross. That's a monster ugly one. Probably should have taken that off. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that guy's got a little, a little doodad. Which one's this? Oh, Brad's black heart. Got a little, little dingling there. <laughs> little tomatoes are silly sometimes. Oh, this is wine jug. Eh, I guess it sort of looks like a wine jug back there. We'll see. Um, there's lots of tomatoes everywhere, but not a whole lot ripening there. So, let's see. I've gotten a few off of this plant here that are ripe already. I need to do a taste test on it. And it's still got a bunch right there. That one is, is there any other ones? No, they're not close to being ripe yet. This one here. And it's really neat looking, the color and the shape of it. I really like it. I can't wait to taste it and see what it's like. But as you can see, just, oh, I'm so excited for these to ripen. These are my California tulips. Look at that. They're just all over this plant. It's so awesome. This one here, same thing. Nature's Riddle, just a boatload of tomatoes. Some, this one's a gorgeous one. Uh, a Ambrosia Giant. I don't know why it's called that because they're not giant at all. So I don't know if I got seeds that weren't quite right. Um, look at this Carolina Gold. 
That's a gorgeous one. I actually got this from a store. I didn't grow that one from seed. I'm really gonna try not to make this um, garden tour like two hours long, but it's really hard for me guys because I just like to show you everything. <laughs> because stuff, the tomatoes are starting to ripen and all that, but this is like a tunnel. Let me show you. So here I am. This needs tied up, but like, look, they are above my head. So I'm reaching up to the top. <laughs> and then here's the ones on this side. But this is what I want to show you. Look at this beast. This is bread and salt. This bad boy's coming in with me. Look at that. Oh my God. <gasps> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm trying not to knock the other ones off because they're not quite ripe yet. Give me a second. Oh, she's mine. And then this one's really cool. Um, I can't wait for this one to ripen because these other ones have been kind of wonky do looking. But there's a couple on here that are really pretty like this one and this one um, that I want to save seeds from. But like this one is like not, not good. It's ripening. You know, one side's ripe and the other side isn't. So it's kind of yucky. But this one here is Zebra Easel. Yeah, this is ripe too. Ooh, something got a hold of this one. And so I put Mr. Owl here next to it. And so whatever got into it left it alone. But I'm going to cut off the one side and have the other side. So these need to go into my basket. Anything else ripe here? There's just so many gorgeous tomatoes. Look at this one. Look at the coloring on this one. This one is, um, nope. That's, this one's Nebraska wedding. This one is blue pear. Blue pear, oh my gosh. And again, just lots of tomatoes forming on it all the way up, super pumped. This is Mountaineer Mystery and I'm excited to see this one ripen. Look at, look at my hand, fills up my hand. That's a big boy, I'm excited. I need to put these in my basket before I forget. Where is my basket? Look at all those tomatoes, just look like this. So it's, it's, you know, of course the second thing is starting start to ripen is when I'm going to head out of town. <laughs> like, come on. My cucumbers are starting to ripen. I'm gonna come back to monster cucumbers. I'm gonna come back to monster cucumbers, monster squash. The person that's staying at the house, I might ask them to maybe come take a look to see if anything's ripe. <laughs> so I actually did a photo shoot a few days ago and that's what prompted me to do this garden tour because I was looking at the pictures and I was like, oh my gosh, stuff is so different. There's so much stuff to show people. You better just go ahead and do one because it's looking really lovely right now and you might come back to just death. So. <laughs> Um, I don't want that to be the case, so I want to show you while it's in its glory. I'm pretty sure I know which picture that I'm going to use for my thumbnail. Absolutely love it. I cleaned myself up for the photo shoot, so it was really fun doing that. But uh, I got to show you this garden. So just look at these tomato plants. They've almost reached, some of them have, the top of the cattle panel, and it's just absolutely gloriousness. And, and, and for the most part, I'm not seeing like hardly any disease, which blows my mind. And I am doing something differently. I did hydrogen peroxide last year. Again, I left last year and when I came back, everything was really bad, badly off. So I decided, well, let me, let me try something else different this year. So this year I used copper. I got this copper spray. And I have to say, I've sprayed these plants. Look at them. They're just so green, barely any disease, tomatoes everywhere. So I have to say that I am, like there is some disease, like this one just won't, I don't know what's going on with this one, it won't give up being, but for the most part, these, these plants look way, way better than they did last year this time. Um, I have a video where I was spraying hydrogen peroxide and they were, you know, not doing well then. But they're, they're just blowing my mind this year, so I don't know. Um, copper, the copper spray might be, I mean, there's like a little bit of 
disease happening and when I see it I just I've sprayed I think once a week for three weeks look at this one this is so pretty can you see this one this one is um oh, what is this one? Oh, I can't read the tag dang it this one's Kazula 133 and it's so pretty. I cannot wait to see these. Um, the one right beside it is... Is this another California tulip? Yeah, this is another California tulip. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with these. And again, they're just everywhere. I'm so excited for this one. Here's the not Mr. Brown plant. It's not Mr. Brown does not have any tomatoes on it, so... Uh. All right, so I am buried in this sea of tomatoes here. They're as tall as me. <laughs> Trying to maneuver around them so I don't break any limbs. This row here, oh golly. So this tomato plant, I don't know what's up with it, but I'm waiting for its lava flow. And I just need to get this one here, this gorgeous beauty, to ripen. <laughs> and then there's one over here too. It's a little bit messed up, but... Uh, after that, I'm probably going to take this plant out because it's not doing good. But this one here, oh my gosh, this is elfy. Look at these gorgeous tomatoes. And these right here, this is Dancing Green Fingers. Look at all of those. There's another huge bunch right there. And then Sweet Aperitif. I've gotten a few ripe ones off of here. I'll be doing a taste test of that. Look at this bunch of tomatoes. That's crazy. Is that, that's sweet aperitif. Um, Gobstopper is right beside it. Is Gobstopper a dwarf? Cause both years I've grown this, it's not gotten very big. And this is the top of it. But there's some tomatoes. <sighs> My volunteer. Crown cherry, it looks like they're getting a little getting close to being ripe. Oh. Sun sugar. Oh my gosh, these are oh so many of them are ripe. They're incredible. Oh. Whoa. Look at that. Mm. Excuse me while I have a little well, I have a little garden snack here. Mm. These are so good. This one's a hybrid, so I won't be saving seeds from it. Sweet aperitif. sweet too but I think sun sugar's got it beat there's one more back here I must have it okay got it oh oh I think it's about time to do another tomato tour when I get back this is boss blue bumblebee look how pretty that is and oh this one here, chocolate pear. Looks like it's ripe. I'm gonna get these off of here and I'm gonna get these off of here. Oh, these are so pretty. Can't wait to see what these taste like. You guys ready for some taste tests when I get back? This one I lost the tag of. I wish I knew what it was, but I don't. And then we've got some green bumblebees that have gotten ripe. Are any of these ripe? No. No, not quite. They got a lot. It's got a lot on it. Okay. Now to the majestic area. This is just majestic. Lots of changes have happened and lots of things I want to show you. The bean area that we planted together is doing really well. 
And my climbing beans are climbing up the trellis and the steps, apparently. Got a few volunteer bean plants in the walkway here. I need to go get my basket. Okay, so look at those monsters. There's another bit of gloriousness there. What's that one? I'm not sure. Can't read that far. But my snap dragons are doing lovely. That's a patch of uh, white currant tomatoes. That's just gone bonkers. Um, I deadheaded the Shasta daisies. And so it's not looking as luxurious as it did before. I did the same with this Rudbeckia. And it is still looking absolutely magnificent. This thing just keeps on giving. I just keep taking pictures of it, with it. This is just, can you see? They just look, oh my gosh. So I've been on the hunt for some more Rudbeckia seeds. I actually got some from Park Seed. I think it was P-A-R-K Park Seed. Some really pretty varieties. So I'm excited to get those and put those in the garden for next year. All right, so those tomato plants that I planted not very long ago, they are catching up with the other ones. Um, I've already got lots of blooms on them here more blooms here so these i just planted i think like three weeks ago they were just little tiny starts and there's some more here so i had places that stuff didn't come up this was supposed to be where my cucumbers were and as you can see i'm not the greatest at growing cucumbers there's some basil here this is the mirror huh oh can't i can't read my handwriting but it's gorgeous as you can see <laughs> I got all kinds of beans up here. Some snapdragons. And those are all volunteer snapdragons. And I had my one okra. So there's my one. Um, it's a motherland okra. So I'm hoping I get some okra on it to save seeds from it. Okay, so where do I want to take you to? Um, this is my tromboncino squash here, as you can see. I would love to get these to go up where they belong and go across without breaking them. Give me a second, I'm going to try to do this. <laughs> All right, I helped them to find something to grab onto, I think. Now, do I have any ripe tromboncino? Oh, this one didn't get fertilized, yucky. Uh, and then this squash right here is, oh, North Georgia Candy Roaster. Do I have any of those? Mm, no. This one here is, what is this one? Oh, pink doll, pink porcelain doll, uh, pumpkin. I don't see any pumpkins yet. And then I had a um, ground cherry that I planted here. This was the strawberry ground cherry. It was the only one that I got to germinate, but it's getting pretty big. These lovely squash plants all over the walkway. I kind of like it like this. I think it's magical. So I just let things ramble. Another, this is a volunteer ground cherry. Again, I'm telling you guys, if you grow ground cherries, like you will have them forever, everywhere. Delice de la table or Delice de la table, uh, table squash. I haven't gotten anything off of it yet. My lima beans these are the christmas lima beans they were so pretty um you can see i'm getting pods look at that <gasps> Ooh, pods. i wonder what these taste like okay guys i literally tasted that lima bean and then my phone went dead so i had to take it back upstairs 
I had to charge it for 45 minutes. I did some other chores I needed to do. I started a load of laundry and watered the chickens. And so I'm at 11%, so I'm hoping it'll make it through the rest of the garden tour. Okay, so we're at the lima beans again. And there's that squash just coming through the walkway. Some really pretty snapdragons. Aren't they just beautiful? And then here's the Black Prince ones. They're pretty too. I love snapdragons. Um, more cucumbers I'm trying to grow. These are so far unsuccessful. This is the um, not silver slicer, but um, yard long uh, cucumber. Some different kinds of beans here I planted. Um, I just planted these a few weeks ago, the same day I planted the beans over there. So they're just getting going. Um, and this is a, what is this? But I, like, I wanted it to trail like it's doing now. Oops, it's going over into the fence there. Whoopsie doopsie. Maybe I should redirect it. Um, well, I don't know. This is a cup plant that I planted here. It looks like it's getting eaten a little bit by something, but it's not really doing anything because I think it's just, um, being crowded out by whatever this is. Is this a pumpkin? Oh my gosh, I hope it's not a pumpkin. Is there anything on it? Lots of flowers on it. Let's see if there's any. I see a bunch of males. Mm. I don't really see any fruit anywhere. Okay. And my uh, super tight patch is getting going. I did weed it a couple weeks ago. It's starting to sprawl this whole area. This whole area was covered last year with the sweet potatoes. So I'm hoping it does that again, but I just cannot keep these stinking tomato plants from growing here. They're just everywhere. Okay. I just want to show you what it looks like as you're walking through here. It's just majestic. Um, a different snapdragon I'm growing. Which one was this? This one is Oriental Lanterns. That's really pretty. And then this one here is Cherry Twist. So lots of different snapdragons. Um, I showed you the Rudbeckia. I showed you the tomato plants. This trellis right here, I had, um, what did I have here? I can't remember what I had planted here, but it didn't do anything, so sad. Uh, the beans, I planted more tomatoes. Oh, I need to tie these up. Okay, I got them all tied up, and I just noticed the first little tomato on them. I can't believe it, but... It's got blossom and rot, so we're gonna get rid of that. And hope that the rest of them do better. Yeah, this one looks okay. I'm getting eaten up by bugs tonight, dang it. This is my um white borage. It's trying to get going, but... My nasturtiums are starting to peter out. This is uh, Bloody Mary, and then this is my, um, what is this one? Shimfuri? Shimfuri variegated tomato plant. It is a, um, micro dwarf. Pretty excited about it. Oh, this pumpkin plant's doing really well. Oh, look at these sunflowers right here. The multi-headed sunflower. That's just lovely. There's just so many beautiful things in my garden right now. Um, let's see. Any squash on this squash plant? No, no, no. Take a look at these tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes. This one is the Mushketeers. It's really pretty. This is a big boy. Oh yeah. This is Golden King of Siberia. This is Oxheart Pineapple that's fused. Um, black Angus Dwarf, Red Charcoal, 
And another sprawling squash. What was this one? Oh, I do find a tag for that. This is the North Georgia Candy Roaster, so I think I might have already told you guys that. So some of my pots did okay when I moved them over here. They're looking a little better, but some of them that are in the smaller ones, I just don't feel like they're holding the water as much, and I have had to come down and water them a couple of times. But they're still... This is another variegated... This is a variegated dwarf. What is this one? Oh, goodness, where's the tag? Here it is. Um, Sweet Splash Electra. Yeah, so... I don't know if you can see the variegation very well. I mean, some of the leaves are pretty variegated, and then others have, like, nothing on them. So it's kind of neat. I am not really seeing any fruit on it yet. Uh, yeah, I am. Right there. There's a sweet splash of left right there. I've gotten a few spoon. Lots of peppers on some of these peppers. Look at those. This one here is so adorable. This one is Chocolate Beauty. Um, this one, what is this one? Doe Hill. This is Doe Hill pepper, so there's some Doe Hills. These tomatoes are looking like they're coming back to life. They were struggling. This one is there's a nice looking tomato right there. This is, uh, ooh, Purple Rain. My friend uh, Lauren said this is really good, so I'm excited for that. And then lots more peppers. Just waiting for a lot of stuff to get ripe. Looks like there might be something right back here. I think that's another Chocolate Beauty. Yeah. It's looking like it's pretty ripe. And these purple ones, look how br bright those are. <laughs> this monster here is just that. It is a monster. I think it's three tomatoes fused. This is a separate one, but these are all three together, I think. I think this is orange cream. Some more basils I planted. Oh, this one's fun. This is... Hmm. Huh. Louis Big Paste. It's fairly big, but not... It's an interesting shape, that's for sure. Blonde Boar. That one's really neat looking. This one's another Anthocyanin one. Queen of the Night. Gorgeous. Just lots and lots of tomatoes, guys. And everything is still on the verge of ripening, but not quite ripe. So, it's pretty exciting. And I'm definitely not seeing as much blossom and rot as I did last year. Look at this one. This is your Surrey Tiger. So, it definitely was me. This is Slot Taba over watering a bunch. This is Vernissage Yellow. Um, and the potatoes, I think, are about done. Um, it's almost time, I think, to harvest. And some of the squash right here is looking pretty good in the pots. So, we'll see if anything comes of these. Just lots of grow bags and probably I've already got more grow bags to fill for next year. I just like to have more places to plant stuff. That's all. And then this. So some of this is looking a little sad. This has just been really hot today and it needs water. So, But I do have some squash and some stuff popping in here. If I can get in here and show you. I'm pretty excited. Um, I believe this is a North Georgia candy roaster, but it doesn't look like it got pollinated, so dang it. Um, I saw, just saw a pumpkin. Where did I see the pumpkin? Oh, here's a pumpkin. I think that's a pumpkin. There's a pumpkin in there. I think, let me see if I can show you the pumpkins. This makes me nervous. Um, let me try to get over there. I don't know. There's just... Hmm. 
I wanted to show you. Oh, oh so I'm going to be so itchy. Oh, I made it. I made it. I made it. My uh, rhubarb has made it. I, this is the second time I planted it. And they're all making it. So this is another rhubarb. This is another rhubarb, which is now getting crowded by this pumpkin here. But look, there's a, another pumpkin growing in there. Another pumpkin. And then I have to show you this, guys. This is looking really good, too. This is my, um, the, but look, the pumpkin is, like, going out the fence into the, this is gonna, this is a problem, but I can't do anything about it now. I brought my husband down here to see if he could help me. But there's nothing, but look, it's just going up the fence tree, going that way. There's another one that I planted there that's still doing well. Yikes. This is going to pull my fence down. It's going to tear it apart. There's two of them. Look at that. Stuck in the fence. And it's like looped out of the fence and then it came back into the fence. I, I don't know what's going on here, but it's glorious and scary all at the same time but it's like going up the going up the hill really far it's out the fence right there i just want to see how far it'll go but it looks like they need watered i hope it rains tonight it's supposed to rain tonight so oh here's another one it's like an obstacle course there's another I don't know if it got pollinated either. Um, kind of feels like it did. Ooh. Here's another something. Another pumpkin. I might get some pumpkins. This looks like pink porcelain doll. A couple of them look like pink porcelain doll pumpkins. This one's going up the fence. Hello. Um... How do I get out of here? So I had the pots over here, but I had to move them for obvious reasons. They were all along this fence line, and I moved them. I think they're doing okay where they're at. Um, I have some gourds planted here too, but I don't see any gourds on the vines yet, so. I will show you this though. So, three times. Or four times I had to plant these. These are Martin House gourds. It's like July 18th, so I don't know if these are going to get going enough for me to actually get any gourds. But so far, so good. This is another gourd. Which one is this? Uh, miniature bottle gourd. So it's supposed to have like little tiny miniature bottle gourds on it. I don't know if I see any. Um. Oh, well, there's one right there. It's teeny weeny. They're starting. These. Oh, what kind of gourd is this? I'm not sure what kind of gourd this is, but I've got some. Right there. It's hard to get in there. But it's all over there as well, which is fine by me. I think it's pretty. There's a bunch of little of these. Which one is this one? I can't find the tag. I don't know. But that's exciting. There's a couple right there. You see them, little babies. But, oh goodness. So, these gourds and pumpkins are coming up over on this fence. I didn't see that. Or on this cattle panel. That's pretty neat. I just love it. It's so much fun. Okay. And another multi-headed sunflower that is just gorge. It's really pretty, but it's, you know, piddling out. And this right here is coming over onto, which is fine, but it's, the, the tomato plants need to be tied up. Oh, there's a little tiny one. Look at that little guy. It's so cute. Little cutie. And there's another one hiding back there. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I have art projects I'm going to do. Just as long as these don't 
go over there and attack my tomatoes. We're cool. And then look at this. This is Jolly Jester Marigold. I don't know what happened to this one. It was doing just fine. And then it wasn't. Uh, maybe, I don't know, possibly the copper spray. Because I was using the copper spray on the tomatoes and I might have got this one. So, but this one's fine. I guess maybe I didn't hit it. I don't know. But there is the squash plant, which is behind it. Coming up behind it here. And then another squash plant coming out into the walkway. They're really pretty. I'm just letting them go. I did have a nasturtium in here, but obviously it got crowded out. See it there. And then this is really cool. This is the Conquito Gourd. So this is one of them. They get to be these huge, like, sticks. So it's like a huge stick gourd. Here's one. It's getting pretty big. But they're hanging everywhere. I'm excited to see. There's a lot of them. What this thing looks like. And I'm hoping that it just keeps going. It's look, it's all over. There's one there. It's halfway down the other side. So that's pretty cool. And um, more tomatoes here. <laughs> I think I showed you that. But I wanted to take you up here. Show you my paper, pepper and squash bed before I end this. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so long, I think. i try to edit it down. These are all the new um, dwarfs and micros that I planted. They're doing really well. And I need to, I pulled all the onions and the garlic from the bed there. So I need to replant something there. Some of the squash are kind of petering out. Others are doing okay. I think I might have some stuff in there I need to harvest. And then there's still the kale that's kicking back there. But I wanted to show you some of this in the peppers. And then there's stuff all around my chicken coop. I won't show you that this time around, but... There's cabbages and kales. Some of the cabbages are actually putting on heads, surprisingly. There's Swiss chard, sunflowers. I just put everything anywhere. There's some volunteer kale in here too. And I feed it to my chickens and my bunny rabbit. But I wanted to show you some of these peppers. Look at all these peppers. Oh yeah. We got purple peppers. We got, I believe this is a blot. Possibly the blot pepper back there. I know I got it somewhere. Black one. Some more kales that I planted. A squash that volunteered and I thought, well, hey, let's see what you're about, buddy. And he's headed out, out the door there. Um, just lots more peppers everywhere. Everywhere pepper. Let me get around. I need to redo this walkway. Yes, I, I know that. That's insane and I'm gonna hurt myself. Corbachi sweets all over, loaded. These plants are loaded. What else we got here? I got some massive peppers on some of these. Look at this. You see that? And that one's got like one, two. Oh, that one's even bigger. I don't want to get in there too much because I end up breaking the plants. Like a, a, a volunteer ground cherry. Dang it, I did not see this one. That got away from me. But look at this, this pepper is so pretty. Oh goodness. Looks like we're getting some more strawberries. Look at this thing. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. This is um, chocolate cherry candy cane. No wait, that's not right. Is that right? I don't know if that's variegated. This is the one I'm talking about. Oh, so pretty. Look at these pretty little peppers. But look at this. This is called Black Horse. And it is just a loaded down with peppers. Can you see that? So many peppers. All right, guys. I, this is probably going to be such a long video. More peppers. There are just so many peppers. Oh, this one's ready. What's this one? Is this the Red Shepherd? Try to get it off of here. Having trouble finding the tag for it, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Mm. 
That's yummy. All right, guys. This video is probably going to be like an hour long as usual. Oh, there's my basket. Yay. I don't have to walk back down. I'm going to head inside. And I hope you all enjoy your day.